All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about painting with our mouse in OpenCV using Python. So first, we'll talk about what is painting with mouse, why do we need to paint with the mouse, how does painting with the mouse work, and then go into some coding examples, one with a double-click drawing, and then another one hold and drag drawing. Okay, so this last one here is probably the most useful, and you'll see what I mean. So first off, what is painting with mouse? So if you say, let's let the user draw functions with the mouse, that's the main benefit. So here is an example of uh, cats with whiskers, and this is drawn using the mouse. It's kind of like a paint application, but inside OpenCV, okay? So why do we need to paint with the mouse? The main thing is, you know, in the previous, previous example where we were doing the drawing functions, we had to know the exact location of the pixel. Um, here, it's actually going to be a lot easier because we can see where our mouse is and we just click, then our uh, drawing object will appear at the location that we click because um, our mouse knows the exact pixel location. Okay, so that makes our lives a lot easier. And how does painting with mouse work? The way it works is there's going to be a callback function. So based on the callback and the type of clicks you have, maybe it's a left click, right click, um, holding, dragging. Uh, you could have a state machine that goes between the different states based on what your keys or buttons are doing. And then from there, you'll have a callback function that will trigger some, some of the drawing calls that it does, OK? So we'll go into the code to show you exactly what that means. OK, so here we're going to create a demo project. We're going to start off with our usual imports. We have import cv2 as cv and then import os. And we're going to call our function here. Uh, we're going to start off with the double click drawing function. So we have our def double click drawing. And then we have our usual if name equals main. And then I'm going to pass in my double click drawing here. Okay. So Inside my double click drawing, I'm going to do some of the usual stuff that I do, which is uh, we're going to read in, set in our path, the path for our uh, image that we're going to be using. So get CWD, and then we have our image path. And I'm going to set this equal to os.path.join, and then pass in roots. And my main, the folder that I'm using is demo images, pass in my cute pick onejpeg OK, and here I'm going to do cv.umread to read in the image and pass in my, my image path. And then the, the new function that we're going to use here now is going to be something called a cv.named window. So this declares the name of the window that we're using. And here I'm just going to call this drawing app. And then we have our callback function cv set mouse callback. And then the callback function is going to be the behavior when our mouse clicks on something. So you have to specify the, the drawing, the name. And here, because I'm using a name in a couple of places, I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, win name. OK, so I'm going to pass in win name here. And then here, I'm going to pass in a uh, win name. Here, I think I actually like wind. I'll just call window name. I kind of like window name better. So we're going to pass in window name. And then in here, in our callback function, we're going to have the name of the function that we want to execute when we click. And we're going to call a function called draw circle, which we'll make in a minute. And then it's going to have an image, which is going to be the, the actual picture that it does the behavior on. OK, so we're going to actually pass in the image into the function. And that's going to be a param, as we'll see. So we're going to have the function called draw circle. And by default, these um, callback functions will have the input parameters event, x, y, flags. And then the param is any extra stuff that you're passing in. So here I'm passing in my image. So I'm going to store image as my param. My param is going to get stored into my image variable. And then I'm going to check if event equals param. 
So, or sorry, if event equals uh, the key that I'm pressing, so I have cv.event. So these are all the different events that can happen with your clicks. So if you type event underscore, you can see these are all the different options. I am going to use a left, uh, left button double click here. So if there's a left double button click, what I'm going to do is call the CV circle function and then pass an image, the tuple XY for the location, uh, the radius 10, and then some color, I'm going to use red. So uh, BGR, last value is the red high pixel value. So it's going to draw a red circle where I click. Okay, so I want to put this inside a while loop so it's always looking to see what I'm doing. Infinite loop, so put that true. I'm going to have a cv.show to show the um, image. And then I'm going to pass in the image. Then I'm going to have a quit key, so cv.wait key, pass in one equals the key that I'm looking for, which is q. And then if I press Q, it's going to break. OK, so if I run this program, we should see our cat picture. And then wherever I click my cursor, um, it should show the red. OK, but something is not working. Let me see what's going on. OK, so yeah, I was supposed to double click. There you go. So if you double click, you can see the different circles show up. And this is what I'm expecting. OK, so it's like. This cat got some infectious disease, maybe pimples on cats. Um, but you can see it's working now. Okay, so I'm going to hit the Q key, and then we'll jump into our next example. So the next example that I wanted to show is the hold and draw function. So I'm going to comment this out, create a new function here called uh, def hold and hold and drag drawing. So this will involve a state machine, which we'll see. So inside of here, hold and drag, uh, I'm going to pass in our image. So this stuff will be the same. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And here I'm actually going to create a class to handle this because um, I'm not a big fan of having global variables just floating around. So having, having it inside a class will make it a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to say class drawing app. And inside this class, I have my uh, constructor. I'm going to pass in self and then the image path. And here we have self dot um, image path. It's going to be image path. And we have a self dot start x. And then a self dot start y. I'm going to set that equal to zero each. And then we have a self dot is drawing, set that equal to false. Okay, so these are just some initial parameters that we're gonna set. And then inside of here, we're gonna check out some um, drawing functions. So I'm gonna create a line drawing function. I'm gonna call this draw line, pass in self event. So this is gonna be our callback function. That's why it has these function calls. And then inside of here, we're going to get the image. So image equals param. And then here is our state machine happening. So if event equals cv dot event, and then the event we're going to look is the left, um, left button down, this one. So if we press the left button, self dot is drawing is going to be true. So it's going to let our program know that we are in drawing mode. And then what we're, we're going to do is set the x and y to our new x and y. So I'm going to just paste this. And then here will be x and y. And then the next step is once we pass in the x and y, we want to check the different states now. So l if uh, event equals cv dot event uh, move mouse. Let's see, event mouse move, not move mouse. And then if self is dot is drawing. So if we're moving the mouse and we are in drawing mode, we want to start drawing the line. So cv dot line, we're going to pass an image and then self dot start x. 
So this needs a comment here to separate. So we have start x and then self dot start y. And then our new point is going to be x, y. And then here is going to be 255, 255, 255 for our white, and then thickness of 3. And then our last condition is L if event equals cv dot event. Uh, we're going to look for the left button up. So if we re release our left button, um, it's going to be at whatever the new location is, and then it should stop. Okay, so we'll copy that same line of code. The only thing we need to add here is we're going to have self dot is drawing and set this equal to false. So that way we won't go into the state. Okay. All right, so that is our state machine. And then we have some main function here we're going to call def run pass in self. And then we have our image equals cv dot um, read and then pass in self dot image path. Then inside, we're going to create a window again. So some of this stuff will be the same. So I'm going to copy this, paste it, and then tab. Um, and this should work, except now we have self dot draw line. OK, so if I run the self dot draw line, this should be what I want. So if I try this run and drag drawing, Let's see, let me run this again. Okay, so the final step after we make the app, um, what the, the step we, the last step we need to do is actually call the function, right? So uh, we want to create an instance app equals drawing app, pass in the image path, and then we have app.run. Okay, so I need to add these two lines before I can run it. Um, now, if I run it, um, it should work. Let me see. So we have window name, self.drawLine. Let me remove the parentheses because we're just passing in the function. Okay, so now we can see we could draw lines on this kitty. And then, yeah, this seems to be working. Okay. So the main thing that I changed here was this is passing in the function. So instead of calling the function without the parentheses, you need to call the function without it, just passing it in. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.